Tributes have been paid to 60 men killed when a helicopter crashed in the North Sea two weeks ago. The Prime Minister and the Prince of Wales joined mourners for the service of remembrance. From Aberdeen, Sky's James Matthews reports. This city has known tragedy in its offshore industry, but rarely on such a scale. Hundreds gathered to remember the 16 who lost their lives. At the Kirk of St Nicholas, the memorial service began two weeks, almost to the minute, after helicopter flight 85 November fell into the North Sea. Prince Charles and Camilla made the short trip from their holiday home at Balmoral. They were joined by Prime Minister Gordon Brown. There were bereaved family and friends too, more than 400 of them. They sat along with the people who tried to save their loved ones in a church where nearly 2,000 people have already signed a book of condolence. It is important, I believe, in these times of sorrow that such a book is created, for it serves to remind us of those who are the heroes of this industry. And they are those who have paid the ultimate price for the richness which is God's creation that is harvested from below the seabed. The 14 passengers and two crew were killed on their way home after a two-week stint on their North Sea rig. They crashed after the gearbox failed on their Super Puma helicopter. Raymond Doyle. James Edwards. They lit 16 candles and one other for the victim of a separate incident in the North Sea the same day. Ian Ferrier. They mourn inside what is known here as the oil and gas chapel. Outside, they followed the service on big screens. I, I work in the industry as a, a lot of people do in this town, in this city, and uh, uh, this is something uh, that's deeply affected the community. What everyone remembers that it's not easy just to go out there and earn a lot of money, as we do, we do a lot more. The city that's the hub of the oil industry is the focus of its grief. James Matthews, Sky News, Aberdeen.